So let's continue working on our layout, the navigation, the logo. And for that, let's add some styling. Again, for this attached, you find a couple of CSS files. You find a logo.module.css file and a main navigation.module.css file. And you should download those and add them in your layout folder next to the logo.js and main navigation.js file. Again, there I define some CSS styles for you, which you can of course tweak and override. And in the main navigation.js file, we can now utilize these CSS files. We can import classes from main-navigation.module.css to take advantage of CSS modules and import the classes that belong to this component from the CSS file. And then we can add them. For example, on the header, we should add a class name of classes.header, which sets up the styling for this header. And that is actually the only class we have to add in the main navigation component because all the other selectors are just um, nested selectors then, so to say. That then allows us to work on the logo. We can already import it. So let's add an import to uh, of logo from the logo file. And then let's work on that logo file a little bit. Now the logo component will be a fairly trivial component. Again, created and exported as we always do. We will need some styles in here. So we should import classes from logo.module.css. So this CSS file we just added. And then the logo here for me is a simple text-based logo. I'll just set up a div with a text of max next block. Of course, again, use your name here. And then I'll add a class name here of classes.logo using one of the CSS classes or the only CSS class defined in here. That will style that logo. Now we add that logo to main navigation and we use main navigation in the layout. And layout is then wrapped around our rendered component in underscore app.js. So that should be everything now. And if we now go back to our page, we should see this header here, which blends into the hero section here on purpose, where we have the logo, which is clickable and takes us to the starting page. And then our two links here, which are also clickable, but we haven't added any content for those pages yet. So at the moment they won't do anything. But that is now the layout added and the navigation added. And with that, let's come back to the starting page and complete it by adding the featured posts below the hero section here.